What's up everybody? I'm Eric Hansen with Backpacking TV. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be giving a product review on something that I just tried out for my first time, the Burley Coho XC, and this is for bike packing. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you to like this video and subscribe to our channel, turn on our notifications so that you can be getting word of all of the great things that we have to say about adventures, inspirational, educational tips, things to keep you motivated and getting out there safer and having more fun doing so. Let's talk about bike packing. So most of you who are here on the channel probably spend way more of your time actually backpacking like I do than doing anything like bike packing. This was literally my first time ever trying the sport and I was honestly a little bit hesitant about what my experience was gonna be like. I've never hauled a bunch of weight on the back of my mountain bike and gone for an overnight like I just did here in my backyard at Flagstaff, Arizona, getting out on the trail system here. Yeah, there we go, there we go. The first thing that you're gonna need when it comes to bike packing is obviously a bike. But then you need a way to connect a trailer to your bike. Now this is actually probably the thing that I found to be the biggest struggle with this unit here, was simply finding the right way to connect it to my mountain bike. So this unit here, this is what it came with. This is a through axle that you would actually put through your rear wheel of your bicycle in order to connect this unit to it. However, my mountain bike has a bunch of gears and other things that made the physical space wider on my mountain bike, so this unit didn't fit. This is the, the through axle that I actually pulled off of my bike. Burley does have a sizing guide to be able to determine what this would equate to in an actual through axle from Burley. However, it took me a couple of attempts to actually get it right. There's uh, thread sizing and then length, and I got the length right the first time, but I didn't get the thread size right. Once I finally got it right, then from there, everything was a breeze. Uh, I just took my through axle off of my bicycle, replaced it with burleys. It just slides right through and then screws into the bike itself, allowing me to connect this trailer onto my bicycle. And then as soon as you let it go, your connection is rock solid and you don't have to think twice about how the trailer is actually connected to your bike. So you have three wheels going. You have your two wheels of your bicycle and the one wheel of the trailer. Now, one of the benefits of doing this system is that it's way more nimble as its ability to go on actual single track mountain biking trails. It can dodge and weave rocks just like you would on a mountain bike. Once you're moving, this thing is extremely stable. I didn't think twice about the fact that I had this loaded up with gear and then it weighed 35 pounds. It didn't feel like it at all. It moved extremely responsively with me on the trail. The only time that I did have trouble with its stability was actually when I needed to turn around. This unit does wonderfully when you're going one direction. However, it takes a bit of space to actually be able to move your bike if you do need to turn it around. For the most part, you're not actually turning around, you are going one direction down a trail. So when it's actually in use, you're gonna have no problem with riding with this thing. Another thing is I don't believe that you need to be an expert mountain biker in order to enjoy being able to bike pack. And actually that was one of my nerves about trying this out was feeling like, okay, I'm about, am I about to have this white knuckled type of experience? When in reality on the trail, it was actually very casual and just very fun. One of the other things that I really liked about this unit is the ease of actually packing it. You have this nice wide trailer. You put your heaviest gear at the very bottom to lower the center of gravity of the unit and make it easier for stability. And then it comes with this really nice mesh net that is very elastic and you have six anchor points to be able to connect it around from the front to the back to all the sides of the actual trailer and it was very stable. I never lost any pieces of gear. Nothing bounced out or rattled its way out. And even though I did have some loose odds and ends, like some tools and some small pieces of gear, nothing bounced out or found its way out through a crack or anything like that. This trailer does also come with its own suspension system. And this spring action suspension system did a fantastic job of being able to handle the rigors of a heavy unit bouncing and hitting rocks and not having any problem 
with being thrown off the trail or anything like that. One other thing is we did have some inclement weather. It had recently snowed, the trail was a bit muddy, and we have this really nice mud flap here that uh, if you really had to also go heavy on your bike packing when we're carrying a lot of stuff for kind of maybe a more extended expedition that you could use to rig some more gear onto. And one of the things that was nice is that this was never spraying me up with any mud. Everything kept really clean and it just, everything was really thoughtful in this design, I thought. One other thing that I really actually loved was this kickstand. Now the kickstand itself, just as you get going, if I were to push this unit forward, it would literally just fold up and I wouldn't have to think about it again. But then when I wanna stop and get off my bike and go to an overlook, I can simply just put my foot down on that and roll it backwards and to engage the kickstand. And it's actually strong enough to support the whole unit and my bicycle. So I don't have to think about leaning my bike up against a tree. The whole thing can just be stable on its own. I can get off my bike, go ooh and ah at the beautiful sunset and not think about my bike falling over. And then of course, when I wanna disconnect this unit and take my bike off, say I get to camp and I'm ready to just go zip up and down the trail without the trailer, all I need to do is trigger this beautiful yellow trigger and it releases its grip from the through axle and my bike is disconnected. It is very, very simple. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the Burley Coho XC. For those interested in trying out bike packing, I highly recommend it. It is a wonderful way to continue to explore our trail systems, our wild areas, and I just thought that it was super, super fun. Now, for those interested in learning more, you can check out burley.com. Uh, I also invite you to check out our whole episode on actually using this unit for the very first time here on the Backpacking TV YouTube channel under Tracking Dirt. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this product review. If you haven't thought about bikepacking, well, maybe give it a try. It's a hell of a lot of fun.